Hello world, welcome, welcome back to the Unchristian Network and today you are on Intimate Moments With and you're going to find out who the with is with today. Yo, <laughs> It happens. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, 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 it's not our mother tongue. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Um, please like share the content with more people that you know are going to benefit from the conversations that we have here. It's such a pleasure for you to honor us um, with uh, your time and just open up your space to us. So thank you very much. My name is Udumiso Mazibugo. I've got a wonderful guest uh, here today with me and we're going to talk all things her, her life and everything that she is doing, her work, her ministry. The music and all of that. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome my good friend, Nombulelo Chefu in Thank the house. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. You have no idea. Really? I feel like I've made it. <laughs> Come, <laughs> on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Like I've made it in life. When you said, CC, please. Just yeah, grace yeah. the show. I was like, yeah. No, I was I'm, blessed by you saying you're going to come. I was like, oh my word, yes, she's granting our request. Yes. Yeah, I'm Thank really you. honored to be here. Thank you so much for the invitation. Yeah. It just, it's an indication that I'm doing something right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> my very first question to everyone I have on this space is, yeah. uh, is how are you? And that is not a greeting. Hmm. We never ask each other how we are. Yeah. And we, when we are asked, we seldom answer honestly. Yeah. And how, how is Nomulele doing? I actually have a friend. We ask each other, yeah. how are you? Do you want the real how are you? Or just how <laughs> yes, we're greeting yes, each yes, other, yes, you know? Yes, yes. So, um, I am I am good. I'm good. Um, I'm good. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. I'm good. Um, it's been an interesting past few months for me. Mm -hmm. Or let me say, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um... Yo, it's been crazy. It's been like a, a roller coaster ride where I sometimes don't recognize myself yeah, in terms good. of my emotions and yes. how I feel yeah. and, you know, how I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I think I'm finally at a place mm -hmm. where I am okay. That's beautiful. Where I can say with no. Mm. You're right, manje. Mm. Um, I'm stable in the way that I think, plan, mm. strategize, mm. and just... Um, relate with other people because sure. yo I mean I like I mean I'm uncle, I shut everybody out I'm, hey, I'm just like I don't have time for that it's like I've got I've got the same thing <laughs> <laughs> guys get I'm out of my space and, and I'm trying to stop that <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult yeah. it's not easy yeah. and I guess it's uh, it's a privilege to have people who persist yes in loving you yes. in pursuing yes. we need you them and so saying, much. hey Look, I know you're not okay, but yeah. I'm just checking in. If yeah. you need anything, shout. You know, they just continue to love you even when you don't want to hear from them. But, so, but sometimes you never, we never shout. We never take the offer. Uh, me, I don't <laughs> shout. Also, I'm one of those. But I'm learning. Yes. I'm working. Something we have to learn, hey? Yeah. I'm not going to get straight, Pella. I'm not going to get Why am I shout? <laughs> Oh, no problem. Because sometimes yeah. it's like, no, I don't want to bother people. No, but uh, it, it, is, it is a pride thing. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Une pride. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest thing you are doing right now or you are working on right now do you in want your me to, life? We need to be honest, ne? Yeah. This is an honest space. Yes, it is. It's a safe space too. So in January this year, yeah. I started a program. Mm. It's called the Maximize Program mm. um, for young people okay where basically it's like a skills development program okay. um for soft skills sure. mostly just helping you mm. become more professional than whatever yeah. space that you're in yeah yo you've actually spoken about it mm. where you feel like you're not good enough for a space. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> like you see that that program. <laughs> it's a demon. That in thing. territory washing. It's yeah, holding wow. me like this. Wow. Like I have content that I shot in January that I still have not put up. Like I'm struggling. Mm. Let me just be honest. Mm. That program is really giving me sleepless nights. Yes. Like a day does not go by where I think about it. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, I'm not doing as much mm. as I need to be mm. doing mm. there. And it's got it really has nothing else than to do with mm. imposter syndrome. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the resources are there. Sure. You know, I've got the network oh, of people awesome. in different industries yeah. who are there saying, Girls, shout mm. if you need help, mm. you know, 
we are going to come wow. through we're going to lend a hand we're going to so j thinking are you Fish. i struggle i st- still battle that mm. a lot um number one in the podcasting space uh which i'm very new to and there's a lot of work that's been done in this ecosystem by a lot of other people yeah and uh books that are are pregnant inside of me that I'm they are in there that I've not finished writing mm. and one of my things I said to somebody ah, there's a topic I want to write on but I feel so many people have spoken about it already mm. he said to me no 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 yes they have spoken about it but you have a take exactly. you have a different voice and That's you know true. it got me and um I think it was god a few months ago who said to me drop the word and the word was necessary that you are necessary sure. and I've got affirmation from you. Sure. And so that program is necessary, man. Yeah. Maximize is necessary. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> Finish what you started. It's, yeah. Yeah. But 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 also besides that um anything with purpose affects other people. Yes. So that people who are supposed to benefit from benefit. that. Yeah. 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 Um what's your first love in all that you do? You are a musician, you're a speaker, yes, an MC, um a <clears throat> community developer, definitely you you are those things. Have I missed anything? And then tell me which one is your favorite. <laughs> what did I miss in what you do? Um you missed former radio presenter as well. Not former. Oh yeah. Come yeah. on girl. Radio I'm live right now. No way, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You know what? Um I met Hope Alive. Yeah. I, I I took a bit of a break. Okay. So I'm still also like getting back, mm. you know, into my groove nice. in that space. Nice. Nice. But my first love is radio. No way. Yeah. That's my first love. Like if you wake me up any day and say, yeah. What's your dream job? Like if radio. you had to wake up and choose your dream job. Yes. It's definitely, definitely radio. radio. Um I love the radio space because mm. it's current. Yeah. You know, it's current affairs. Yeah. Like you said, I love community development mm. and radio gives me the opportunity to connect with all sorts of people. Sure. You know, people that are influential, mm. people that are not influential, mm. like people from all walks mm. of life. Mm. So I, I love that. Uh, I love that. I love that. It also um, gives me an opportunity to, to actually connect and work with people yeah. because I'm exposed to a lot of programs and just to the needs that are there in yeah. the community because I did community radio for a while. I was at Alex FM for about five years yes. um, doing the, at first I started on the uh, afternoon drive sure. and then I moved to the breakfast show. Nice. So I got to like get in touch yeah. with the real issues yeah. in the yeah. community yeah. and just fight politicians. Mm. That was mm. my favorite thing. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> When are you going to deliver (laughs) service? What is this? We voted for you. When are the pipes being fixed? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. So I I love it because it just gives me a feel of the different things that I love. I love love speaking. Yes, yes. You understand? It's got music in it. It's got music in it. Exactly. So it just brings everything together so well. And one of the things that I really love about it as well is that I get to share information. Sure, 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 sure. It's a it's a huge platform. Yeah. You know, like platforms like these. Yeah. People, it's like what you were saying, you're mm. necessary. Yeah. Sometimes you think, ah, no, I've, people have said this already. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. But you realize, Wuti, now we're at a certain time mm. in your life, mm. there was a first time that you heard something. Yeah, boy. So, this is probably the first time for somebody as well. As well. As, Where's get from your perspective? That's right, ma'am. So share it. Go for so it. I love that. Which I get to share information about all sorts of things and just share my my beliefs mm, as well. You mm, know, mm, I might mm. not be shouting Jesus, Jesus, mm, Jesus, but mm, <laughs> but you get to experience me and mm, what I believe and what I have experienced mm, God do in my life. Because mm. I will share that. If we go back to the times and places that formed Unombulelo. What comes to mind? Um, I know you grew up in Alex, Ekomora. Uh, you know, tell us a bit about that even, but what do you attribute your formative experiences to? Hmm. Definitely my upbringing. So sure. my mom and dad. Yes. And their relationship. That's beautiful. And how they chose 
to raise us. Mm. Absolutely. Tell us a bit about that. So, like you said, I'm born and bred in the township of Alexandra. Yeah. But I actually didn't get too exposed mm. to Alexandra. Yeah. Because my dad was very, still is, very overprotective. He shielded you from some of it. Gakulu. Like, Baba yeah. is the kind of guy I remember Masakala deep in the heart of Alexandra, a uh -huh. 14th Avenue, Tsema yeah. Chartin. So okay. there's a couple of households in one yard. Ah. So my dad, if it's time to play, he would take his chair, sit outside the house, and actually watch my friends and I play. Sure. He was that guy. Otherwise, I would be playing indoors. Yeah, man. Uh, when I grew up a little bit, he would let me play a chartini, mm. but I was not allowed to cross the street. Yeah. And my dad is strict. Mm. And he's the kind of strict that even when he was not there, I knew not mm. to cross the street. Mm. Like I would be afraid. Like a dad. <laughs> yeah. He could just pop up yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah, nowhere. Yeah. You know, so I wouldn't cross the street yeah. to go to the shop. I'd send a friend, whatever the case sure. is. Um, so my dad was very strict. Mm. Uh, my mom was very sweet ah. so they were the, like the perfect balance awesome and they are a united front ah yeah one thing that i've learned yeah. from my parents is that like it locks by a law like yeah. even when they don't agree yes you know now i've gotten to see that they don't agree yes. when i was growing up i didn't, didn't know see that it. Yeah. they don't agree uh. like i was just like yo these people they're always on the same page <laughs> always in sync. they're yeah. always against me because <laughs> yes. you know yeah like that's how you feel yeah. when you start becoming a teenager yeah, yeah they're always against me and they agree with each exactly. other and as I grew older, then I mm. got exposed to the reality of what it takes to build a relationship. Mm. And I'm like, yo, mm. these mm. people actually disagree. But mm. at the end of the day, after all the disagreements, united front. Praise God. Like, one thing for yeah, sure. Yeah. So, definitely the relationship that they have. Another thing that <clears throat> uh, yo, made me mm. is salvation. Mm. Definitely mm, salvation. Mm. I got saved at the age of eight. Sister was assembly, isn't it? Yes. Hey, okay, example, Hallelujah. <laughs> so I got, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got saved at the age of eight. Mm. Um, I received Christ. I was excited. Mm. I was like, you know, I remember the day when I received him. I felt mm. like a sinner and I went mm. to the front and I was like, Lord, I receive you. Yes. And I was testifying. You yes. know, I was telling my parents, mm. when I to see you. Mm. Um, one thing that happened though is that I did not grow okay. in my knowledge of Christ. Right. So I was just saved mm. and I was going to church, just but I was that. not nurturing my right. relationship with Christ. So I then became a teenager. Mm. Mm. That kind of teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was the yeah. I was the good girl who was bad. Hmm. And make sure you not like in the eyes of people, <laughs> in the eyes of my parents. Yes. I was the good yeah, girl. Good, good girl. Yeah. But secretly, I was fighting a lot of battles right. that nobody knew about. Right. Mina, I I was a thief. Mm. Um, and the reason my parents didn't know about that yeah. is because I was <laughs> <laughs> I was stealing Himalaya school fees. Ah, okay. Yes. So, because they didn't think that I would do something like that, I managed to get away with it uh, for quite some time. Yeah. Like, they would give me, to you know, an school. envelope to go and pay uh, at school. Uh, and I was not. See? And I was chowing that money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I want to know about how old were you at this time? So, this was grade eight. Mm. Grade 14. eight. Yes, grade Both eight, off, grade yeah. nine. So, it happened. It went on for two years. Mm. Straight. Mm. A thousand rand a month. Yer. <laughs> I was <laughs> uboozing it. Ubu zipa. <laughs> Bing zipa. And I couldn't even do anything worthwhile with that money. Yeah, yeah. Because my parents are very involved. Yeah. Hands-on parents. Yeah. They're already doing most of the stuff. And they already know everything that I own. Yeah. So, I can't buy anything <laughs> to wear. Yeah. Like, I'm just buying food. I'm just uh, buying my friend's stuff. Mm. I'm just flaunting it at school. I come from a very, from a very humble background. Sure. So, we literally lived like hand to mouth. Mm. I didn't lack anything, mm. but 
we didn't have much. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my parents prioritized education. Yes. I went to a school that was outside of Elokshini. Right. So they they say now, mm. there were many days we went to bed without food. You just didn't know it because we know. made sure yeah, yeah, yeah. that, you know, you've got your stuff for school, scutting, everything Ish. is up to date, yeah. uniform. Mm. But we would literally sit there like, mm. dada. I look, at, I look at parenting myself hey. now and I'm looking at all the cost and all this, just what it takes, right? And I'm like, I don't know how my parents did it with four boys who eat like grown men. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but they did it. They did it by the grace respect, of God. Respect, respect to them. Shout out to mm. him for prioritizing. You know? So, so because of that, one of the things that I struggled with was just because I went to a school outside of a sure, You know, the sure. kids they are being dropped off by their chauffeurs oh, and course. whatever. Yeah. I'm there, ka bread and butter. Mm. Ah, mm. boring. I don't mm. have scuffed in money. Yeah. And so I want to fit in. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I want to, I want nice things yes, too. Yes. So I start eating this money. Yes. Anyway, so after two years, um, my reign of terror, and it comes <laughs> to an end. <laughs> You're and busted. I, you know, the day I was busted, yeah. I knew I was going to get busted. Ow. It just, I woke up. Yeah. And intuition told me today is the day. Ah, it's over. <laughs> today is the day they yeah, find out. Yeah, yeah. And I had bunked school. Mm. Ah, lots of stories. Mm. Anyway, my dad went to school that day just mm. to sort out some admin issues. Sure. When he got there, they were like, sir, when it's me, two years, you're going to daddy school fees and you are here, you know, like, I'm not my own. And my dad was like, hmm? Me? Faithfully been paying. They're like, no, sir. They took out all the records. Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing ish, for the ish, past two ish, years. Ish, ish. And then he's like, no, this must be a mistake. Where are the school kids? Turns out I'm not. Mm. Well, there are no school kids because mm. exams are finished. My yes. dad is strict. I pretended like I was going to school. You're right. So that I can just relax yeah, and chill yeah, and yeah. go wherever. Because yeah, yeah. if I'm at home, he will check in. <laughs> yeah, are you at home? Yeah, when's what that? are you doing? Yeah, you yeah. see, so I wanted to be... I wanted to be a Varlos girl, yes, you see. Yes. <laughs> so he comes home, he doesn't find me home, so he's already, his mind is probably just running. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, anyway, I bump into some of my friends because I knew this was a day. Mm. I went home early and I bump into them and they're like, your dad was looking for you. He is furious. Mm. He's going to kill mm. you. Mm. We don't know what's wrong, mm. but he that is he's furious. Mad. I get home, I call him, hey dad, he's like, wait there, I'm coming. Comes home, <laughs> He smacks me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Corporal punishment, he's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, yeah. no, that's for yeah. banking. Mm, 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 blah, 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 blah. Mm, mm, Dele, mm. I lie, whatever. Mm. And then he says, no, when I come back from work, we're going to discuss in the high school fees because I don't know what is going on. He leaves. When he's gone, I'm like, I can't live. I can't face this. I'm a coward. <laughs> I'm like, I need to die. I can't. I can't face this. I take all the pills that I can find in the oh, house. Oh, my goodness. I take them all. I take out all those statements that have been given me at school because I've been hiding them. Yes. I just take them, put them in the pots, light them up, leave them in the middle of the sitting room, and I drink all those pills, and I lie on the I write a suicide note. I lie on the couch, and then I just wait to die. I'm like, I can't face this. <laughs> Nothing happened. I didn't even get drowsy. Nothing. <laughs> Zero. It turns out I actually drank my mom's contraceptive pills. <laughs> I didn't know, guys. Yes, me nane. Beng papa, beng you know it, ne. But beng ngac like beng ngac ngani pelanga isn't the best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But beng you know it. Yeah, yeah. So only now I'm like, of course it wouldn't have killed me. It wouldn't have. Yeah, it was just contraceptive pills. <laughs> exactly. So then at that point, okay, my parents come back. Look, I lied at mm. first, and then. Um, we were supposed to go to school for a meeting to try yeah. and figure out what was happening. My dad left for work. My mom and dad worked at the same sure. place at the time. And before my mom left, she came to me and said, this is your, this is your opportunity to mm, tell the truth. Mm, mm. If you took the money, say it now. Say it Don't now. take that to school yeah. and go and embarrass him in front mm, of people. Mm, mm, Again. Again. Just what is going on? Mm. Yo, failing, I feel with, this is my opportunity. I said, mom, I took that money. She was like, okay. And then she went to work, told my dad. Mm. He never came home that day, like during the day, mm. to take me to school. Mm. Yo, that day, is he so singing Zan? Because I'm like, my <laughs> dad imagine. is going to kill me yeah, when he boo, comes back yeah. from work. No, when my dad got back from work, called my mom, said, Lavi, oh, hi, Salingwanak. Mm. This is no longer my child. Mm. 
I'm done. Like, hey, it's cool, hey? And Batum. my dad and I were close. But He's like, no. Ah, shit. It's cool. Like, I'm fine. Yeah. Hey? <laughs> Yo, that hurt me. It, yeah, you must have felt that. It hurt worse than the that. beating. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. dad just, for the next month or two, treated me like I didn't exist. I was like, I was the one who would take food to him yes, and water. Yes, yeah. Nothing. He didn't mm. want any of that. If we bump into each other yes. to the passage, he would like, you know, for what I had done. Yeah. Yo, my heart. And the money was thousands, man. It was a lot of yeah, money. Thousands. It was a lot of money. <laughs> I just so they were still going to work school. Mm. I'm on recess. Mm. I would just like I, I I went into like a dark place. Yeah. And I just sat there regretting everything that I had done. Excuse me, and I was just like, mm. "How am I gonna fix this?" Mm. I still had the suicidal thoughts. Yes. Now I, I, I had better plans to kill myself because <laughs> <Yeah. you know, laughs> yeah. the other plans didn't yeah. work. And I was like, "I need to die. I need yeah. to die. I can't do this anymore." Yeah. And then one of the days, I would just wake up, not eat, mm. nothing, not bath, and just mm. sit in the dark and just mm. regret mm. my life and just hate myself. Mm. And one day, as I was sitting there, like a word just came to me that said. My grace is sufficient for you. Wow. She's like, uh, ignored at it. At that young age, you heard at, that word. Yeah. So yeah. at this time, I'm now 16. Sure, sure. And I ignored it. It came back. Mm. I ignored it. It came back. Mm. So I went and I looked for the verse. My grace mm. is sufficient for you. Because my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Praise God. I said. Mm. You know, when you're in a place like that, you don't see a way out. I know. You no. don't. You're like, it'll yeah. never yeah. get better. It will never be okay. <laughs> They're going to yeah. hate me forever. forever. Yeah. And I just had to, in that moment, I just surrendered my life. I gave my life back to Christ. Right. I said, Lord, I don't know how you're going to do this. Mm. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I'm going to fix my relationship yes. with my parents. I just, I don't know. Yes. But I'm just trusting you to help me navigate the season That's in right. my life. That's, right. That's all. Like, I'm going to trust you. Mm. And then I just trusted him. And I remember after a month or two, it was the new year now. And I said to my mom, mom, what can I do to show you guys that I've changed? Mm. You know, because my dad was still like, mm. what can I do? And my mom was just like, ah, oh, you still want to show us as long as you, <laughs> as long as you're still making an effort to show us yeah. that you've changed, you have not changed. Just live. Mm. If you're a changed person, it just will, do it. Yeah. It will show itself. Yes. Yes. Don't make a point. Don't try to pro prove a point. Yeah. Just live. Yeah. And I lived. Yeah. I did not die. Yes. Um, and, you never, God, and you never stole again. I never stole again. <laughs> Yo, that, praise listen, Lent. Lord. Guys, listen, Lent. Listen, Lent. <laughs> listen. God. Yeah. And that's why ish, this is a good and a bad thing. Mm. Like I'm one of those people who mm. always sees the best in people. Yeah. Yeah. Like people will be like, no, there's no way. No, mm. so I mean, if I believe that God can mm. change people, mm. He can change your character or whatever it is that you're struggling yes. with. I truly believe that. Yeah. You know. Um. So yeah. So the year went by. I gave my life back to Christ, mm. and I said, Lord, lead me. I got into um SCO. Perfect. K yeah. SCO. Yeah, SEO. Yes. SEO, you know, I was preaching and, Please. you know. So this thing started young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did. You know? And, you know, Abandana Beskolobakukuga, the Holy Spirit was yes. just, you know, resting upon yeah. people. It was just amazing. Yeah. I saw God fight for me, even in terms of the associations that mm. I had. Because mm. I had bad friends. Mm. Yes, I looked like the good one amongst mm. them because mm. I was the church girl and mm. I wasn't doing things in front of them. Mm. But they were a bad influence. Yeah. And so, you know, God helped me to get out of that crowd and find new friends with a new influence so that time for me even though after that there were other things that i struggled with right that time actually gave me a picture to say i can think i a pill there's no season mm. that doesn't come mm. to an end. Mm. Everything has a cycle. a cycle and even when i find myself in you know, situations now where I'm just mm. like, there's just no way I'm yeah. going to get out of this. Yeah. I All I have to do is just backtrack just, to the different times yes. where I got to the other side. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, yeah. one of the um, missing links or pieces in the church, when I look back, is the issue of discipleship. Not even looking back, even still today, mm. where you get young people or anybody really who gets born again. Yeah. 
but then they will struggle to live their life in God, mm. uh, struggle to grow spiritually because there's no discipleship. There's no one sitting you down yes. and say, this is what you've just done by receiving Jesus. Yeah. This is how you pray. Mm. This is how you hear the voice of God. Yeah. This is how yes. you stay away from certain things. Yes. And so we are left to our own devices, yeah. uh, you know, even yeah. in the church today. Um, even right now you've got adults who are saved, but they're living a life that's not godly mm. because there's no one sitting them down like this and say, man, I love you. God loves you. Mm. There's grace, you know, for your life. But listen, we need to talk about this uh, smoking thing of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <buzz> it never <laughs> exactly. There's all kinds of things that have yeah. come in, like yeah. vocabulary, mm -hmm. and all of that. But it's discipleship. You need someone yes. to sit you down and say, "All right, listen. Um, I know you've, I know you got grace from God, but this kind of relationship you're in right now with this guy, have you thought about one, two, three? Yeah, discipleship. We need that in the church. We need that we back. And then comes the importance of such organizations like or SEM, SCO, yeah. um, you know, and you then found yourself sort of in that, right? Yeah. Through that. And you started yeah. preaching. I started preaching. Is that when you started to discover your gifts? Zoink, yes. Ebutman, speaker, preacher, yes. love people, singing. You know, you know. I, I discovered a lot of my talents when I was young. Yeah. I just mismanaged <laughs> them yeah. Yeah, along yeah, yeah. the way. Because, yeah. you know, it's difficult to balance everything. Yeah, you yeah. don't know what to do Good when. Thing. You yeah. don't have direction. Yeah. But after, for example, I've got a grade one report card where my teacher made a note. I still have that report card. And she said, this little girl has the most amazing singing voice. Amazing. So I was singing in the choir. Mm. I was, you know... Um, yeah, I was leading. Yeah. I was part of talent shows. Yeah, yeah. So from, from a very young age, I was doing yeah. that. And in terms of the speaking, so I had a vision. After I received Christ, mm. I got a vision where I was standing in front of multitudes, mm. Of, mm. multitudes of people mm. speaking and just preaching the gospel. Yeah. You know, and sure. I was just like, yo, it, it was an overwhelming vision. Yeah. And for a, a long time, I forgot yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's only when I was old and I was like, Oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. by the way, mm. God said, you know, mm. he showed me this. Um, I was much younger, so mm. it didn't really mean anything to mm. me. Um, but, you know, from a very young age, like I started, my dad would put me in agencies. Yeah. It's unfortunate that we couldn't sustain it from okay. a monetary perspective course, course, to pay and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my uncle worked at the SABC. He was shooting your TV. So I was like there Dope. with the crowd, you mm. know, and I always wanted to be a your TV <laughs> presenter <laughs> and whatnot. So these are things that I was exposed yeah. to. You know, even though it was not a lot, yeah. but I got to see yeah, every yeah. now and again. Yeah, yeah. Like I was, if we were doing Sunday school things, I was always the one who was chosen yeah, to, yeah, yeah. you know, to upfagas yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I would give like a juicy testimony because yeah, 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 yeah. I love storytelling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, after church, uh, really, all the um, yeah. adults in the church would be oh, like, I'm where now? Oh, yes, yeah. Very <laughs> you proud see, of you. Uh, yeah, so I was just a child. Like I was also... The child who was always in trouble sure. for fighting for other kids. Sure. Like I hated injustice. Yeah. I still hate it. Yeah. Like if there was a parent who was an abusive, mm. abusive parent, I'd tell that child, there's oh, just wow. no way this is okay. Mm. How can Uma Mako Akshay Nintambo Yokesu Uzu Vuleginyam no, this is not I would be really grieved sure. by such things. Like I remember coming home, my mom would always say, Yo, when I'm all cut out, you come home crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd come home crying. Mom, um, my teacher said that mm. we don't want vendors in the school. Turns out it was vendors. Oh, vendors. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would be so touched. <laughs> She's racist. I don't even know, you know the different, different terms. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. but I just knew there was something wrong yes, with yes. prejudice and yes. just segregation. I was like, this is Man, wrong. Listen. You know, uh, like I always got into trouble for such things. <laughs> for, you know, Speaking back to adults, yes, yes, yes. you know, I'd get into trouble for that. Which, yeah, because yes, yes. me, I would go and be uh, like, they would choose me, uh, you know, to say, when a spokesperson yeah, said, go and tell <laughs> uh, I'm an elder. <laughs> 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 I said, Assemblies of God, <laughs> 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 no, this is not fair. Uh, 
And I might be like, okay, <laughs> yeah, me. No, there's this uh, father in the Lord of yeah. mine, uh, Ubab Caesar Kumar. Mm. be like, no, no, Mr. K, this is wrong. <laughs> you guys, yo, and I have to come now, apologize to uh, the whole, you know, board of sh- Abu Baba. Sh- I mean, it would get to my parents as well. Mm. And they'd be like, why do you talk too much? Yeah. Why do you talk so much? You need to stop. So, yeah. I've always just like been that I kid. And my parents also just allowed me. That's important. To speak. That's important. It was, and I thank my mom more for That's that because my dad is more rigid. Yes. Yeah, keep it under my My mom is, my mom is, um, yo, know, my mom understands people. Yeah. She's got that gift. Yeah. You know, she studies social work also, just oh, awesome. like not so long ago, awesome. just like maybe 10 years ago. Mm. She went back to school and studied. She's just that person. Amazing. You know, so she, she would just let you speak. Mm. Hey, sometimes I would push it though. Hey! Yeah, you guys are hypocrites. <laughs> guys, I was, uh, my parents went through the most. Of no, course, I'm telling. Of course, look with the fellow. There's a way, there's tact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meeting, why, can't I, why can't I wear pants? <laughs> why can't I have dreadlocks? <laughs> I want dreadlocks. Uh-huh. No, you can't. Meeting, why? Why? Meeting, why? If you yeah. guys can prove to me through scripture, scripture. So is that one. I can't do it, so is one. we will agree. <laughs> hey, I, now they can't prove it. Uh, I see. <laughs> they can't prove it. And, They'd have to get to a point where they're like, we don't know why, we just found it like that, and we don't want to change and it. That's the way, yeah. You care more about the people at church more than you care about me. You guys are hypocrites. <laughs> yeah, shout out to parents. Man. Yeah, man, they, they went through a lot with us. <laughs> they did. They um, did. Now, later on, you started to take your gifts seriously, and you started mm-hmm. to think, I can make a career out of this. Tell me how that decision to, to enter, I want to sing gospel, came. And, and which year was that? This was 2011, mm. a year after matric. Right. Um, and you're like, I'm, I want to sing gospel. No, it mm. actually just happened. Gotcha. So I, I went to UJ. I right. enrolled for civil engineering. Yeah. You know, I was just like, I'm an academic. You know, That's <laughs> yes. what I'm going to do. Yes, yes. Because I was multi-talented. Yes. Like I did civil um, in high school and I was really good at it. I'm good mm. at... I'm just artistic. It's neither yeah, yeah, or I'm creative. Like, yeah. I was like good with my drawings and my plans. So I was like, yeah, let me go and study civil engineering. Yeah. Although I didn't fully understand yeah. what civil engineering <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah. Should have gone for architecture ah, instead. Right? I see, I see. So, so I get there first semester. I'm like, yeah, hey, mm. this is not what I want to do. <laughs> this is just mathematics. I love mathematics, yeah. but I don't like, um, I don't like chemistry. I mm. love science, but a bulk of civil is chemistry. I didn't Yo, know that. I, no, I didn't like, know that. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of mathematics and no chemistry. Uh, I was like, no. Uh, I made a mistake. Uh, so I went back home to my parents. I was scared. Sh- Guys, hello. I made a mistake. <laughs> Yo, got the old super number. I got the old super. And that's not the only mistake I made. Oh my goodness. Guys, this could go on for hours. Oh, wow. But anyway, I'll cut my yeah. story short. Yeah. So I, I said, guys, I made a mistake. Mm. I chose the wrong career. Yeah. Yeah. My mom was like, I knew it. She knew it. Yeah, she's like, I just, I was shocked. I was like, why would you choose that career? <laughs> um, hello, you're a, like you're, mm. You're like a media person. Mm, like she's always mm, seen it that way. Mm. But I was pers- I was adamant. So it was your, was your insistence. Be, yeah, mm. I was adamant. I'm going to be an academic. Because mm. mm, mm, So I've mm. got a point to prove. Mm. Which became a problem. I'll mm. tell you how it became a problem. So I then, so I did one semester. And then mid-year, I dropped. Sure. Like the course I just cancelled. Mm. So now I'm like, okay, what am I going to do for the rest of the year? I didn't even know there were auditions. Mm. My older sister friends from church mm. sent me an email. Mm. Hey, bully, there's this competition happening. Yeah, we yeah. think you should yeah. enter because yeah. you've got the voice. Yeah. Like, you guys think so? They're like, yeah, they encouraged me. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, nah. Yeah. They were like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, Mm-mm. they're like, let's go. We go. Yeah. First round, I get through. Yeah. And I mean, I'm just like singing, yeah. Jay. You You're just know? going through it. Yeah, I'm just going through this thing. Second round, now, so. Hey. Third round, have a two. Top 30. Yeah. Hey, Batung, top 10. Hey. No, this, thing is, <laughs> this thing is serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. now on national television. Come on. Weekly. It's like, yeah. So that's that's how it happened. Wow. I was just encouraged by my sure. sisters from church. Sure. And now I was thrown into the deep end. Yeah. Yo, guys, that experience was tough. Yeah. 
because I was, it's not like I was sitting there like aspiring. Okay, yeah. I want to be, you know, a recording artist at this age. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, yes, I'm yes. checking my music. Because I come from a conservative background, me not like, I was not exposed to music yeah. that much. Yeah. And when say, Papa, I, say, Look, I don't have a, this was a bigger world, bigger scale. Yeah, I don't have a library of music. I've never sang with a band, backing vocalist. Come I'm on. just there out of my depth. Wow. Literally. I'm wow. like, I have to choose songs every week. I'm like, what song? What Which song? On? What is yeah. going on? You know, but um, you know, God sometimes places you mm. where he needs you mm. to be and he knows what he's doing. Sure. So I made it through to the top five yeah, yeah. of the competition. Yeah, man. And because of that, that was the beginning of my professional singing career. That's right. Um, because I connected yeah. and networked yes. with people that yes. were doing big things. Yes. You know, Abu Linda Nankize, Abu Siangobam Tetra, like a lot of people. Sure. And I was exposed to South Africa. Sure. Like I became a celebrity yeah. overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. oddest thing where people recognize you and yeah, they now you're a household all of name. a sudden elevate you and yeah. put you on a pedestal and you're yeah. just like, and it can get you ahead. It can. <laughs> it can. Fame is a drug. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, what's going on? Mm, mm. And yeah, I thought my life from there was mm. going to go like this. Yes. Little did I know. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know. What happened? So the, the route was not th- th- straight. It had... I'm a, nope. I'm, I'm a I'm a king, king. Eh. So Were I, you now pursuing music intentionally now? So at that point, I was pursuing music intentionally, but I also wanted to pursue my academics. Like I was sure. adamant to sure. say, I want to do this thing and yeah. finish it. Mm. Um, so with the music, I was not, I don't know anything about music. So I'm learning as I go along. Yeah. You know, I'm working with big names in the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'm also lacking and mm. lagging because mm. I'm like learning on mm. the job. Mm. But you know, if you put your mind to it, it, it you learn, it you learn. Yeah, and it's yeah. the best way to learn is on the job, that's actually, right, if you right. get that opportunity. Like, yeah. just exploit it as much as you can. It, yeah. Exactly. So now I was being intentional. You know, all of a sudden, I'm like exposed to worship leading. And hey. because men are like, Anzangi, hey. Magna, worship team. Anybody can sing. You understand? Yeah. So you oh, no, Exactly. Yeah. So this was all new to me. I also thought I was going to uh, sing for, you know, Amazing bands because mm, I got mm. promises that all go yeah, as, yeah, yeah, yeah. as part of the as, as part of the competition and whatnot. Mm, but you know, mm. this is where your career is gonna go. This yes. is what we are offering you. Yes. And I was so excited. Yes. I told my parents, guys, <laughs> you won't believe this. You will not I am believe. going to be part of this ensemble. I'm yes, going to be yes, here yes, and yes, here yes, and yes, here. Yes. Ish. Then <laughs> well, Ish, well, turns <laughs> out there's a price to pay for it. Ooh. <gasps> You've got what I want. I've got what you want. You're kidding me, man. I'm 19. 19. I'm a teenager. I'm a child. <laughs> yeah, no. My child was very like we, I was promised, but I was also as it went on, you know, we are born behavior. We tell and this is wrong, you know, and you you're naive, you're a child, you're in a, a different industry, ah, a goodness. new industry, and you're just, you're scared to be too strong. Mm. You're not actually even strong. Mm. You're just trying to be not rude, but also say, with I, Mina, this is, this is not me. How does that feel with young, naive, <clears throat> an intention to minister, an intention to just share your gift with the world? And then you run into a wall. You gotta pay with your body. Is indoor. But you not even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are not even fooling around with mm. promiscuity. And then yeah. someone says, I'm a virgin, like I'm living for yeah. God. You and want this, but. This is the price to pay. Oh, it's Shh. Cool, eh? And the door really gone. closed. Mo, mo, mo. It closed. Mo, what? Closed. Shit. Yeah. They meant it. My heart was broken. My goodness. My heart was broken because now I had also told my parents. I don't know what to say to them because they keep asking me how. Manje. Manje. Uh-huh. How? No, now I'm making up stories. No, no, because I'm also afraid to yeah, say, to hey, this and this happened yeah. because. Because my parents are very strict mm. 
and overprotective, I thought they would just shut this whole mm, thing mm, down and say, mm, mm, you know what? Yeah, we're manch. done with the music. Yeah. yeah. yeah better, so I didn't want them to pull yeah. me out. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. I was protecting it. And I was just yeah. like, ah, yeah. at first, I was trying to not be rude, mm. but I was clear with mm. ah, ah. But I was still talking, mm. you know, and because I'm still trying to save Jeez. that thing because I want it. Yes. I'm like, no, I, I really want to be a part of this. And I'm trying not to be rude. But, you know, God just said to me, there is no one person, one man, mm. one woman mm. who holds your life yes. in their hand, yes. who can just shut, shut you down, down like that. Yeah. Don't give them that yeah. much power. Yeah. 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 You yeah. don't have to keep entertaining them yep. for the sake of preserving the, mm. uh, the professional relationship. Yeah. Shut it. Cut it off. Yeah. So wow. I just, because I was also starting to get tempted. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm, and I'm like, it, it works on you. Yeah. I'm starting mm. to say, I man, who's going to know? Just one time. Yeah. Just one time. Yeah. I, nobody's going to know. It doesn't matter. It's just one time. Later on. Yeah. Have you discovered that this thing is really prevalent? How prevalent is it mm? in the industry? How, how bad is it? It's prevalent. It's huge. In, it's everywhere. It's not just in music. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. I had a friend of mine. Um, she was hosting an event. Powerful, you know, similar to an empowerment event, similar to what you do, right? Yeah. And uh, someone promised a sponsorship for the event, and she needs a sponsorship. Apply to last minute. Yeah. She gets an invite to a hotel, and mm. she had to let it go. I was disgusted. <laughs> it's disgusting. I, I because I didn't, I didn't expect it. In maybe oh. maybe I'm just naive. Uh, I know corporate in politics is the answer, but wow, it's here, guys. It's crazy. It's here, mm. like right here. How does if, it make if, you feel as a, as a as a woman to be objectified like that? <clears throat> do you even feel anything about it? You do. Mm -hmm. You do. You feel. Well, it depends where you are. Sure. Just age, yeah. maturity, etc. Yeah. Um, also, just upbringing. Mm. Mm, your mm, your mm, exposure mm, mm, and mm, your experience mm, play a big part. Got you. So, from where I come from, that was disgusting. Yeah. I felt like, oh, you're thought, married. Let's start there. First of all, you're old enough to be my father. Exactly. Number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one. Number two, you're married. Like, it didn't number compute. three, didn't even compute. if you were not married, like, it didn't make sense to me, even if you were not married. We are saved. What? What is this? I was shook. I was shook. Mm. Ah, it broke my heart. And it broke my heart even more when I, mature, when I started to mature. Mm. Because I realized, Oguti, my ability to say no to that man was not because in Clarence P. Mm. Or because I'm grounded mm. more than other people mm. and whatnot. Mm. Mm. Having a support structure mm. like a present mom and dad. Mm can change your mm, life mm, in massive ways. Mm, mm, Somebody mm. who comes from the Eastern Cape mm. is Lalini, who is promised something in Joburg, mm. who has nothing at home, yeah. no hope, no future, yeah. nothing, no one yeah. supporting them, nobody cares whether yeah. they are alive or dead, comes to Joburg on that promise, and that happens to them. What's going to happen? What decision are they going to make? They're most likely to take it. They're most likely to take it, and they've taken it, and I know I know. And a you've lot. seen it. I've seen it, and I said, Lord, Thank you for mom and dad wow. who are present. Yes, they don't have everything, sure. but they will do anything but to make present. sure. Mm. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't lack. Mm. I don't have to do anything for my needs. Mm. You understand? So I said, Yo, Lord, I thank you. Like, thank you. So it breaks oh, my heart. Even jam. now, just thinking about it, it just like it makes me sad. It just makes yeah, me want to cry. Yeah. Guys, like, why would you do that? Yeah. Take advantage of in gospel, Buffett. Hi. Okay. Yeah, if, yeah. Hip hop. No, it happens. People, people are opportunistic. Yeah, they yeah, take yeah. advantage of of people's lack and it's vulnerability. Also, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's 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 also what sexual predators do. Of course. Well, it is actually actually sexual. You're a sexual predator if you do that anyway. Yes. yes. That's what they do. Mm. Um, 
they they look that's why most of the time mm. people that are abused it's it's got nothing to do with social status yes it might well obviously we'll see it a lot in people who come from impoverished backgrounds because the parents are never sure, there sure. anyway the point is Parents are never there. It's either by Asebenza. So you're left in the care of uncle, auntie. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes they don't mean bad. They're yeah. just trying to make ends meet. Yeah. But sexual predators can see it. Oh, just like any predator. Just like looking for prey. Exactly. Okay, church, looking for prey. There's a gap. Mm. One of the people that mm. you know tried their chances. Mm. How? Because we had come from a meeting, mm. and that was the last time I saw them. That's mm. when I made that decision. Which mm. Actually, this is not going to work. What? Oh, your parents are not home. I was like, uh, mm. no. Mm. Oh, why didn't you tell me? We wouldn't have come. I was like, uh, mm. no. Mm. Did you tell your parents, Wuti? I hope you didn't tell them you're coming to me. I said, my parents dropped me off. Yes. <laughs> At the <laughs> meeting. They, yeah. They <laughs> know where I am. They know where I am. Who I am with. We understand. So that. That means yeah, uncomfortable, yamba. exactly. The covering of a father. The cover. Oh, guys, the that is of so a important. My sure. dad, Nishon and Amsad, there are people in the industry. But, oh, my, God. my dad was like, my dad will walk in mm. I, in the early years when I was still younger. Means I'm going to a rehearsal. That's okay, I'll drop mm. you off. Manga figure go rehearsal. I figure mangen. I volume ni angona inabam. He would literally walk in, look around the room, mm. and leave. Not say anything. He was just establishing his presence. Yeah, just look around. As with and leave. Yeah. You would <laughs> be like, yeah. Yo, you're dead. And I hated it. Yeah. Cause like, this is a professional environment. <laughs> you disrespect my work. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you disrespect wow. my work. Wow. And whatever. And my dad would say, as long <laughs> as um twanam. As long as it's up from moon. When my intuition tells me <sighs> Do this. Come on. I'm going to do it. Mm. Sometimes he'd say no to things. And I'd be like, mm. why? There's no reason. I'd say, I don't know why I'm saying no. My discernment He's is telling no. me to tell you no. Shh. You are not going there. What if, what As to why. I don't know. You know, the majority of father stories that we hear and I interview are all negative. Shh. The majority is negative. It's so refreshing mm. to hear such a beautiful story. Yeah. Um, I mean, I met your dad today for the first time before the interview. And he brought you here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, at, at your old age, it's like, I'm like, what? Oh, this is precious. I want to do, do this for Essie. I want to be there. Yeah. Not to crowd her or yes. anything. Yes. But the covering of her father, knowing that she can lean on me. Yeah. No matter what happens. I'm telling you. Sure. I'm telling so you. So how did you chart a new path towards recording music? It took some time because mm. you at, at some point you become despondent. Of course, ah, this is not working. Because I've realized there are huge barriers to entry, particularly in gospel music. I'm an opportunity to gain a slim, mm. and I'm seeing people right now. Uh, well, idols is the last season, but they're using idols, yes, for the past few years. Past few years, been. they're used going through it, and mm. kudos to them. Great strategy, yeah. When Kaya did that, I was like, brilliant, bro. Yeah. Come on, yes. Yeah. But it raises a conversation to where come a platform um, <clears throat> as a point of entry, talent seeking initiatives. I want to sing gospel as a good one, but it's no longer there. It's no longer there. Uh, and all of that. But for you, um, how did you chart a, a new path now? I'm recording now again. Mm. So I did a lot of backing. Nice. For nice. Big artists, yeah. like Judith Pumas, Kaya, mm. like big artists. Mm. So I was like busy, mm. you know, traveling and yeah. doing that. And uh, the, the, the industry is a tough one. Yeah. It might be the gospel industry, but it really is just the music industry. It's just the music industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's tough. Yeah. It's really difficult. It's dog eats yeah. dog. It's, and it's business. It's business and it's tough and people are mm. spiteful and it's just, yo, it's hard. Would you say that was the biggest um, <clears throat> bubble pop that you had? Wow, I thought this was just about music, but it's, is that the biggest realization? Oh, oh my eyes. Yep. Okay. yep. I was like, this is 10% music and 90% <laughs> everything else. No, literally. Like, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a job. There are people who work for yeah. music labels and companies yes. that wake up 
to go full work time. on this thing full yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. I was like, I'm not going to do it. So that was shocking for me. Mm. Hey, man, mm. No, it's, I can make money from this. Mm. It was shocking for me because mm. I just loved singing. Mm. And it's like, how oh, this is actually a job. Mm. <laughs> so that was shocking. Um, yeah, but to, to come back to um, the recording, mm. yo, I gave up. No, mm. I gave up for some time. Mm. Um, I was just like, I, I just convinced myself singing in church is enough. Because yeah, yeah. I love singing in church. Mm. You know, I mm. love just sharing my gift with the body of, of Christ. Course, of course. Lang corner, yes. Let me be. It's okay. I'll do TV productions and back and whatever. Yes. But in terms of me recording, yeah. hey, again, so right. <laughs> leave me alone. And I had my first event in mm. 2015. Mm. <clears throat> I had that event. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Down. And I went to a bigger venue. I went to Rema, ah. The Rack. I had a sponsor. I even so now I was like I'm confident. Now. I was doing TV interviews. I was, I was like I'm going to nail this thing. My family were the only people who were there. Literally, Whoa. just if you were not there working, wow. you were my family. Wow, my heart and gay now dead it's as so well. Heartbreaking. Yeah, dead. Yes, after the event. Yeah. <laughs> Because I switched off my phone and I just <laughs> I, I ran away from people. I switched off my phone yeah, for a week and bro, I was like, because this is serious money that go into events. Yeah, I was just like I couldn't do this. But then anyway, I made a plan and mm. I switched back my my I switched my phone back on and I made promises and yes. I kept my promises. Yes. But I was just like, ah, guys, I know this thing. Me, this I can't do it. Thing, yeah. so, mm, it's fine. And then, no, for real, like I I really just let it go. This is twenty seventeen. I let it go. 2018, I had a show, mm. but that was just like more worship night ministry, sure, sure, you know. Sure, sure. I see, you know yeah. They recorded the show though, and they said they tried to encourage me. Mm. I was working with Joseph Makula at the yeah, time. Yeah, no, yeah. man. Shout out, shout out to him. Yeah, no, yeah, you can't yeah. do this thing. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm. and the people love the music. Yes. You know, they're like, oh, we want that song. Yeah, yes, we love yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. I was just like, hey. people don't understand the size of the knock. That you get when there's a failure. Yeah. Especially more to when the event. You. Yeah. I've been through that. I know that. Hey, yeah. well, it was my event in Yazgat. It's a huge, huge knock. Yeah. And uh, more, if you see someone failing in an event and they're doing it again, you know that they, they did a lot of work yeah. internally. To get back up. They needed healing <laughs> <laughs> therapy. <laughs> Prayer. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> to bounce back again. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I get you, man. So I just I'm a year, guys. I'm a year, man. You're gonna tell me that I'm in a village. I'm out. As promised, I see 2019 things in the worship nights. Yeah. Low 20 to do it. How 2019 ganti. So engage. I wanna get. I 2020 ya shata. And you pella the way shata ya kona ne. Like umuntu amvele usentu eni. So kuna leo ntu kuta halaba. Really? Ah, you're in yeah, so so like, yeah, ah, yeah, yes, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> me, I knew. You know what? Like, I mean, mm. I'm food, I'm food, I'm food, yeah, that boy. I'm food. I bo. I'm not in the right space. Yeah, like, I just knew, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready sure. for that thing. Yeah, so, so, we had some, some online services and whatever, okay. I would sing and whatever, but, Recording, mm. it didn't happen. Mm. So I mean, I wouldn't encourage. Mm. No, I said mm. I was like, and you married now, no? At no. Time, at oh yes, time. at the time yeah. we are married. Mm. I'm like my brother. I get ready. I'm mm. pregnant also. Mm. I'm just like I'm going through a lot. Yeah. So it's leave too much. me alone. <laughs> it's yeah, too it's much. too much. Anyway, unfortunately, the marriage didn't last. But yeah. that's besides the point. Then, um, 2020. So I'm I'm now going through this like. My marriage didn't last thing. Mm, mm. Oh my God, I'm depressed, you know, mm, which I was. Mm. <clears throat> and so then I'm going through a lot, like mm. personally, and recording is the last thing. Last thing on your mind. Last thing on my mind. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, <laughs> mm. I got, he, he just, he uses the unfortunate situations yeah. in our lives. Yeah. You know, our, our brokenness, our brokenness to to birth or just push us sometimes. 
I wish he would use another method. In the right I'd direction. Be, I'd be okay with him using another method. You know, method. I, the other thing is that I don't even think that in all situations he's actually using it. Yeah. It's like... It's like you are the one working against yourself, mm. but he is using it. He's using what you're doing or what is happening to you to help you. Yes. Romans eight twenty eight. Yeah. He works it out for your good. So honestly, I did not think that I would be recording mm, mm, right now based mm, on my history, based mm, on where I come from, mm, based on how I had made up my mind that mm, I am not going to done. record. No. God was like, I'm going to give you the right people in your space. Mm. You know, people that are going to support you. Mm. I mean, I, like, my human resources. Yeah. When it comes to human resources, yeah. Yeah. he has given me people who are behind yeah. me, who believe in me more than me, mm. who are there waiting to serve me right. any time of right. the day. Right. What do you need? We are here. We're going to make it happen. We're yes. going to make this dream a reality. Yes. Yes. So God just gifted me with those people yes. who were like, Holding me accountable yeah, also. Yeah. Saying, what when are you was doing? Your, when was your bounce back moment? Marriage is not working. <laughs> this music thing is just annoying you. <laughs> now I see you and I, was, I tell you all the time, you die, man, God is opening doors for you. Man. Hey, you, you know, recently you MC the Spirit of Praise 9. Yes. Uh, that was a good gig. Loved it. It was you. a good gig. <laughs> and Yo. Um, you, there was a, 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 a show in Soweto. Yes. I forgot the name of the church that hosted it. GCC. Yes. Mm. And uh, Cindy Ndobel was there. Mm. Then you sang and you recorded music on that. I did. And Leango Moenzile, it's in my head every week. Like, yeah, Ipuma like, ni, ni. When is it coming? Ipuma no, it's coming. Ni. Ala, I'm it's looking coming. forward to it. So, mm. things are happening. When was the bounce back moment? Hmm. When I let go of my bitterness and resentment. <laughs> That was the bounce back. No, for real. Yo, me, I was Come bitter. On. I, I was angry. Against your I ex. Was like, <laughs> <sighs> I'm not some strat mate that you just picked. I I I not Yeah, Just to myself. I'm not just some floozy that you picked up on the side of the road. How dare you use me and just... How could you do this? Yeah. Why don't you love me? Yeah. What is wrong with me? Yeah. Pity party. Yeah. The day... I stopped mm. the pity party. Come on. Was the day that I started to bounce back. Wow. For as long as you're still making an excuse for it, you don't have a reason to let it go. I you must call it the way that it is. Just call it for what it is. Shh. And unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. And you don't want people to tell you. Yes. I, but me, mm. I had people who were telling me. Mm. It's nice to wallow. Yeah, yeah. it's like you want to validate yeah. it also. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want to tell the story. You mm. want to tell everybody. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Guys, can you mm. see what was mm. done to me? Because mm. they will also validate. Mm. Be like, yo. Ha. by victim. Mm. What? Oh, God. Girl, stop that thing. And also, are you aware, Wuti? Yamtanda. Lomuntulo. Lomuntulo. He's my son. He is my son. God just gave me an overwhelming, like one day, he just gave me an overwhelming presence. And just to say, I mm. love. Mm. I love him. Mm. Mm. He is mine. Mm. Leave him alone. Mm. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Okay. God, our coffee has got, has got. But God, did you see? <laughs> <laughs> Are you aware? Yeah. And then the real work began. Yes. I had to be honest with myself. Yes. The truth is, mm. I like, we need to just be honest. Mm. We don't listen to God. Like, you spend mm. years. Mm. 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 Oh, in and out, mm, mm. you know, we are bamba, we are mm, yega. Mm. You're in this, you're in that. Mm. Ni, ni, ni. You're, you're in sin, mm, you're not. Mm, you're, mm. you're in and out. It's messing with your spiritual attraction. Yes, right. It's messing with your discernment. That's right. It's, it's messing with a lot of things. Yes, ma'am. It's 
traumatizing you, even the experiences that mm. you are now putting mm. yourself through. Mm. Mm. It's messing with your perspective mm. and your outlook on life. So by the time you have to make serious life decisions. So botogile, who's botozi? You know, during difficult times, like or divorce or some kind of grief, mm. or just difficult times, mm. we use toxic things to self-medicate and to numb the pain just to mm. get us through. Mm. But like you're saying, it ruins us. By the time there's a new season, God is opening. Our circle right. To exactly. Our circle right. You so You just mm. you, you haven't been building capacity mm. even for that new season. Mm. So we problem. <laughs> By the time you get there now, how you're an empty yes. vessel. Yes. That yes. was the one of the hardest things for me. Because yes. for three four years. I was not investing anything right. in myself in your career because I was not okay. Yeah. In myself, in my career, in anything, mm. I was just there mm. going mm. through the most. Mm. And when I had to snap out of it and realize, oh my god, there's nothing in you know like I haven't been putting anything in me. Yo, that thing ate mm. me. I was like, and like so much is required of me now. Exactly. So much is required, but it's either you can stay in that mm. so much is required. I'm not mm. okay. Mm. Or you can start rebuilding. Mm, 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 so mm. I had to make the decision to mm. say, I'm not there, but I have to start somewhere. Mm. I'm just going to start here where mm. I am now. Mm. I'm going to mm. pick up the pieces. Mm. What can I do? What can I not do? Mm. What capacity mm. do I have where mm. I am? Mm. And just use faith also. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now, um, the, the new, new music is going to come up. Yes. And, uh, geez, um, the amount of work that's required to launch a brand. <laughs> Tell me about it. Listen, um, to launch a brand is, is, is hard work. Um, do you find yourself flowing? Or it's more of like you're still dealing with internal demons? I'm still dealing with internal demons, <laughs> guys. I'm still dealing. Yeah. But there is a flow. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I also don't want to attach myself too much to the I'm still dealing with the internal demons. Because, it's because it also becomes, and becomes and a thing. A crutch. Yeah. yeah, it becomes uh, a crutch. Uh, you're like, oh, I'm in your goal. Yeah. Hey, guys, do you guys know what I just got out of a marriage? <laughs> yeah, eh? yeah, 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 do you yeah. know what I just got yeah, divorced? Yeah. Ah, yeah. like, you know, so I don't want to, I don't want to use it because I can see God. Mm. God given me the grace, yes. the capacity to do it. Yes. So I know I'm going to ride on it Come as on. long as I can. Yes. I'm going to ride on, on that grace. grace girl, you have and to. be like, Mvugile mm. namklanje, amanja sase kona. Wabuti ngukode something. Wabuti ngukume something. Yes. So yes. Because sasa, I could wake up. I have those, a lot of those days yes. where I'm just like. Just can't. I feel like picking up the phone and saying. That thing we've been working on, <laughs> cancel it, cancel. delete it now. I'm done. You like two weeks back, I yeah. had that. It was overwhelming. Delete like, a low poster, to, Leo. <laughs> I had to fight for days. Yeah. I, I know those moments. Yeah. 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 Out of nowhere, I had to fight. Like I had to fight. I get you. And 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 it's in those moments where you have to keep quiet and not make a decision. Mm. Mm. Wait it out. Yes. Like I've learned. You have to wait it out. Just wait it out. Yeah. Only when you get to the other side will you know, gay, when you are sober to say, okay, this was just an emotional thing. Sure, sure, sure. Or sure. this is actually real. Yes. I'm not, I don't have the capacity yes. for this. And look at your history. Yes. Your history will tell yes, you. Will tell Bible, you. how did you get, did you fool all of those people? Yeah, vele, vele. Yeah. Did you con your way yeah, through yeah. all of what? that? There's no like, way. Really? There's no there's way. There's no way. There's no way. So you are just going through something? Yeah. Let it so pass, it. sober up, and keep going. Yeah. yeah. When you uh, speak and you're given the mic to speak anyway, it could be a radio <laughs> mic, <laughs> I hate this <laughs> could be a stage mic. What's your message? What everybody, uh, just my theory, I don't know. Everybody's got a message that that God gives you to preach. It will come in different events, come in different series, titles, sermons, but you've got an assignment with your voice. What do you think that is for you? What's your message? I'm what? a revivalist. Right. Yes, ma'am. That's me. Mm -hmm. Any space that I get into, I just want to revive. Mm. I just want to... Mm. 
to wake things up Come on. in people and say, ah, you know, mm. it's okay. Yeah. And I, I, it's, I didn't know I would be here today, yeah. but I now see, which, yeah. oh, I couldn't have been that perfect girl who thinks everything fell into yes. place because yes. now I can tell you, yeah. hey, because one, two, three, because I've done it. Like, like, one, two, three. Because, guys, my friend calls me that. What's your name? When I I've been through all of it, so sure. I I know what it means to be dead. Yes, I've been dead, dead. But you don't need you're just like dead. Yeah, yeah, I get you. One of the miracles that I experienced after my divorce is being able to dream again. That is so hard. Oh my God. That is so hard. I felt dead. I couldn't think. Mm. No, like simple things. Mm. Like think and plan. Which, okay, next week. Mm. So mm. I couldn't. It was mm. so difficult. And mm. I was like, what is wrong with me? Mm. I couldn't. So I've seen God revive me. And I know for the longest time, he's always told me, which, mm. just give people that hope. Yes. Remind them of the hope that is Jesus Christ. Right. You know, and in Jesus, obviously there's everything. Hope for everything, for all everything. things. I like, understand. Yeah. So for me, that's my message. Sure. I'm a revival. I've seen God revive me. Your oh, guys, like literally, Obvious. he's born lying on the floor. Different scenarios. Sure. Mm. That's a different story in a different year. Uh, mm. Yes, is in the Melanga Yens. My soul is leaving my body, and I just. Mm. Yeah, but God, after that. Wow. It lifted you up. He did. And I'm just like, why me? <laughs> this revival, you hey, but, saw it physically, you experienced it physically in you. Physically. So when you are sent yeah. now to do this, you know what it is that God says. Dude. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now. Mustn't ruin my makeup. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> yes, Kalisa, you, can, you, podcast. you can ruin all of it. Ruin it. Ruin it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Lose your weave if you have to. <laughs> I am Sarah. No. Please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what what feeds you? You know, we all have a source that, you know, we give, 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 but what feeds you? What are you reading? What do you listen to in terms of music, podcasts, sermons? What, which voices speak to you? Yeah. I listen to the I'm Christian podcast. Yes! Of course you have to. I have to. <laughs> it's <bong. laughs> I love the space. I just love yeah. the, authentic, the authenticity in it. Yeah. Um, thank you, thank and, you so and one of the people that I listen to a lot Timothy Keller. Mm. I'm a Timothy mm. Keller. Uh, uh, the Gospel Coalition. Oh, girl. yes. That's me. Like, yes. I am that girl. Yes. You know. Yeah, that, that's where I feed my, yes. like, you know, my spirit and yes. local church. Yes. Plug in. Mm. Like, very important. Yes. That thing to have people around you. Right. Who are going to hold you accountable. Yes. You know, uh, be a shoulder to cry on yes. when that's what you need. Yes. But more, just that circle. Yes. That's that's where I get mm. my revival. That's yes. where I get my whippings. Yes. To say, hey, 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 con, hey, con hey. <laughs> Yeah. And then in terms of music, yo, I listen to everything. Mm. It's actually interesting. I don't listen to a lot of music. No, I listen to a lot, yeah. like a variety. Sure. But. I actually don't listen to mm. music that much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, but I, I love... You know what I'm I love South African gospel. Okay. I love Italian. it. I love it. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, I'm such a sucker. I am a Number. sucker for traditional, <laughs> South African traditional oh, gospel. My. Like, it just... I hits. thought you'd tell me Tasha Cobbs. It or... lands. It just lands yes, with me. Yes, yes. It's the upbringing. Yes, of course. It just lands with me. I also love CCM. Yeah. Contemporary. Yeah. So, it's like I come... It's like two yeah. different worlds. Yes, yes. But I love them because they are both... They both touch me mm. in that... Mm, mm. In that way. They touch mm. me in the, in the same spot. Mm. It's just different sounds. And it's a, it's a reflection of who you are. Yes. The grounded girl, the church girl, or Kulela Gupi. Yeah. Versus... Your future as in God putting you on the stages of the world. Yes. I love that. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Yeah. So I love South African gospel. Yeah. That's me. So tell us about the homecoming. The that homecoming. is your big, big event coming up September. I'm so excited uh, about it. Sieza, I guess. Yes. Sieza. 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 Sieza
tell us, line up is hot. What are you doing with that? What has God said about that event? So, not so long ago, you spoke about platforms. Yes. Um, in terms of entry, like an, yeah. a, a barrier to entry for yeah. gospel musicians. One of the things that we're doing with the home... Okay, let me tell you what the homecoming is, first sure. of all. The homecoming is a concert. Nombulelo Chefu homecoming. I've never had an event in Alexandra. That's mm. where I come from. Mm. Mm. So I was like... Yes. I go, why? Yeah, I won't come on in our LX. Uh, why uh, am I busy uh, skipping uh, you? Keep busy. I'm busy I'm I'm swear, go, uh, uh. So I'm coming back home to have an event mm. at home. Mm. That's what it is. Right. And then, so as part of the build up, uh, we are going to do a talent search. We're working with, we've partnered with Alex FM mm. officially and Hope Alive Radio to actually find talent mm. um, and actually just give them that exposure, mm. put them on that stage mm. with, you know, part of the lineup mm. that we have, mm. you know, um, in this industry, the industry is very small. Yes. So you actually get bookings and gigs through word of mouth of and course. just people experiencing yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we are doing in terms of just our contribution to community building and just growing the industry and just mm. helping people, you know, come up mm. with mm. us. Mm. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing outside of the actual day. Sure. And then on the day we are going to praise the Lord. Yeah. Honestly, like I just, guys, I want to praise God. Like, for like, yo, I mean, like, I need to understand. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he just yeah. shocks me every day. Yeah, like, he yeah. just shocks me every day. So I just, I can't wait to be in a space where we just leave everything at home and mm. just come and praise God and oh, just also awesome. make a public declaration yes. of Jesus. I just remembered yes. what I said earlier. Well, what I wanted to say yeah. earlier, <laughs> when I was walking to the taxi, yes, that yes. took a while. <laughs> oh, see, sometimes we like Siba very, Siba shy. Yeah. Yeah. Like you bounced back. Mm. You look so good. Mm. You are centered. You're mm. together. Mm. Your career's going well. Mm. Like we are pushing Sebenzini. Like, mm. I mean, even your day job, what mm. are you doing? Usa mm. 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 They are going to judge me this yeah. way. And then I'm out your calculator. I'm going to tell you how many people are going to have a meeting. Yes, 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 yes. Like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you reflect and you're alone and you give God glory, you yes. know that it is Him who has aided you and given you, yes. you yes. know, the strength to do it. Yes. And now you want to take the glory. Mm. Uh, that is plagiarism. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? Spiritual plagiarism. It is. You're yes. taking credit for something that you, you haven't done. Do. Yes, right. So don't do that. Yeah. If you wouldn't like it done to, to you, you yeah. then don't do it to God. Speak the truth. Yes. If in that moment, really, the truth is it's Jesus. Mm. So I want Love us it. to make a public declaration. Mm. And let our community know that there is wow. the saving wow. God. And yes. you know what? His name is Jesus and he can do it for you. Yes. I'm expecting miracles. Like I'm expecting amazing testimonies sure. of people who were healed, people yes. who received Jesus, yes. you know, people who were revived, people yes. who wanted to commit suicide, yes. but they said, actually, I've got a reason to live. That's what I'm expecting to happen on that day. I've been crying out to the Lord and praying and saying, God, like we need to see, we need to establish an altar in Alexandra. Townships are known for being so bad and devious. And look, these things will still happen, yeah. but there is a rise, yeah. you know, as much as we in the but in the territory of Alexandria, yeah. there will yeah. be young people who will rise up in Alex that will be known with time as was that will just make Jesus yes. known in that community to yes. say there's something happening here. We don't something know what new. it is. Yeah. Yeah. As a men so born, and when they come there, they will find Jesus. Which no, there's a Jesus. There's a you Jesus. Are so such a revivalist. Yes, you are. I can't wait. On fire I'm, for God and I'm Jesus. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, that's great. Yeah. Tell us about the lineup. The lineup, we've got my amazing sister in the Lord, mm. one of the, the ladies that I've looked up to for years in terms of income. I wanna, I, she, she's a dimension. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Ah, la buena, la pa- dimension. That one is a cherub. I, she's <laughs> a dimension. Cherub, no, serafima, she's one of them. <laughs> and and what I love about I love her, her, you know, we've already spoken about how the industry is. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. one is doing that. She's genuine. Love it. Off stage, 
on stage love it. she is who yeah. she is yeah so that's what i love about her yeah. she's one of the people that have also helped me in my journey mm. because it's not easy it's not easy but just having a sister like that mm. we know if she can be in this industry and still be uh, uh, faithful to god and yes. still live for god i can do it, can too. Do it too i can do it Amazing. so love her yes. i just absolutely love her sis Nabagaz is gonna be there we've also got sis mabongi Ferro. Mm. If mm, beautiful mm, heart was mm, a person, mm, mm, mm. same thing. Off stage, on stage, just such a beautiful, what pure. A, what about that new album of hers, man? Yeah, <sighs> guys, I wept. I was there. You I did. was on the floor. Oh wow! I was weeping. Hey, what an album! What a gift! Shout out to you, Mabong. Shout please out to her and the husband. Please visit us. JP is such a support system. Yo, guys, and such an amazing such, such songwriter. A is it? Yes, he wrote most of the music on the album. I did not know this. No, you do. Wow. Yeah. All right, JP. Wow. Yeah. That's so, amazing stuff. Beautiful couple. Mm, mm. Um, just also, just can we talk about the dynamite that she is vocally? Mm, mm, mm. That's my bongi. Yo. She's been. She's been. And that lady can see. Yeah, she's been. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. That's coming out of... And it looks effortless. That's the issue. It is. Yeah. Just and you're like, what? <laughs> is this real? Am I dreaming? I'm yeah. pinching myself. <laughs> yeah, so so Sisma Bongi is coming through. Yeah. And then I also have uh, Upudumim Kokstad oh, also yeah. coming powerhouse, through. Right ah, there. powerhouse. Yeah. I told you, me, I love traditional. <laughs> yes, and, 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 and just, I love him. Yeah. You know, he's been in this game. Yes. Consistent. Yeah. John, he's still young, but he's been here for more than 20 years. I'm telling you. So when we speak yeah. of consistency it's him. and endurance, mm. it's him mm. from a very young age. So, yeah, Nayenje, just, I mean, his music. Ah, Uluandi. Mm. Ulu- mm. <laughs> okay, let me not get into, guys, <laughs> I want to get into my feels. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so he's coming through as well. Yes. We're also going to have the winner of our talent search. I don't know who it is. It, it could so be you. See. Yes. We'll see. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. Great. I'll be there as well. All right. The date? The date is the 3rd of September, 2023. We're starting at 5 p.m. Right. Tickets are at web tickets. Okay. They are available on so web tickets. So online, web tickets. Yes. And it's pick and pay. Right? And pick and that, pay and boxer. Tickets? Yes. Pick and pay and boxer. Yeah. Right. Pick and pay right. and boxer. If you want like your actual physical ticket. Sure. You can walk into Forabanda Batala. Yes. You know, they still believe in hard yes. copy. Yes. So just go to pick and pay. You go there all the time anyways. So just yes. go to the kiosk and ask them to help you make the purchase yeah. and then you'll get it. Nombulelo Chefu Homecoming. As simple as. Nombulelo Chefu across the board. T-S-H-E-F-U. That's my surname. Oh yeah. I'm excited for this. We're going to be there. The Unchristian Podcast is coming. I'm going to bring the whole team. Woo! <laughs> bring the whole team. Everybody, we're going to come. We're going to support. It's going to be amazing. I know it is. Because uh, I know how much you are hungry for this. I know how much you are praying for the presence of God yeah. and for the for revival. Yeah. It's in you. You ooze it. It just comes out. And it's, it's, um, it's so great to see someone who really genuinely wants to see a move of God. And yeah. We are the generation we've been waiting for. We are. Different fields, doing different things, but we are all part Yo. of the revival that God is doing. Absolutely. So I'm excited for you so much. Yeah. What is your word of empowerment and encouragement to anybody listening out there? As we close this. My ninga ma You are sifting with okay. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I think that's why I'm just like and I've been for a long time yeah. praying and asking God like for years. Mm. Like I was in um I'm waiting for my phone. Sure. I was in a in a space where I was struggling um with I don't even know if it's identity. I just it is. That, yeah. I, I was just depressed. Yeah. Like I was fighting. I share my identity crisis. No, like I was fighting Today. for years. It's Lord, please just say, like, Angaz, rescue me, do something. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just need a revival. Like, shock me, mm. push me, kick mm. me. I don't know. Do <laughs> Anything, God. <laughs> Anything. Like, I just want to experience yes. you, like, not momentarily. Like, mm. I just want you to, mm. like, house my mm. body, my mm. life. Like, I'm tired of this. Yo, today, like, I went to church and it was amazing. And mm. then tomorrow, I'm just like, 
just uh, again, again. No, I yeah, don't want to live like that. Yeah, yeah. So God did it, and I'm just like, yeah. you. I don't want to lose my momentum. Yes. You know, um, like God, please, like yo, he's amazing, my drag now. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Okay. Um, my phone is back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So my encouragement as I say goodbye. Mm. Philippians chapter four. Mm. Verse 6. Yeah. Do not be anxious about anything. Yes, ma'am. But in every situation, mm. by prayer and petition, yes. with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Yes. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, mm. will guard your hearts mm. and your minds in Jesus Christ. Like, Praise that's God. just it. Praise God. Understanding, yeah. Very dangerous that thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's mm. very it can you you I mean we are God has given us yeah. like physical wisdom, yes. like your brain yes. to yes. think. Yes. And it's a great yes. tool yes. when you just give it to him. Yes. But if you're gonna rely solely on your on understanding it. and your perception yes. of things and yes. because there are many things that have built you and you are not even aware of that. Your yes. background, your experiences, yeah. that breakup yeah. that you thought was just whatever. Yeah. You don't know how it contributed yep. to the way that you see life. Yep. So relying on your experiences is a hindrance, mm. actually. Mm. So that understanding it can help you navigate certain mm. things. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be voice. Yeah, cool. It dominates your experience. Yeah, cool. It dominates our decisions. And the way that, you know, you move. Mm. Let it be the wisdom of God, the understanding of God. Just take it to him in prayer. Praise he loves God. you. He is so passionate about you. Yes. And he is there. I think in this sense, we see sometimes feeling anti ish. Mm. Ah, this thing is not happening mm. because we doubt that God is there. He is there. He is there. He is there. Just believe it. Yes. And once you crack through mm. that belief, that mm. barrier of, I I got fun. Mm. once you crack through that, mm. watch what that, just that belief alone. Mm. Because he says, when you come to me, mm. you must believe. 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 Amen. Just crack through that. Amen. Yeah. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so Thank excited for what me. God is going to do in your life. And, uh, I just want to be part of anything that God is doing again. So please do. Yeah, you're stuck with me. I'm not choice. <laughs> like God has given me all these you're brothers. Stuck with, ah, oh, listen, I love it for myself. Listen. I love now, it for myself. Now it's that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, there was Nombulelo Chefu. You have got to follow her. Um, she's got so much inspirational content also on her social media feeds. Uh, some of her music is there as well. If you want to hear her sing also, Go on an online store and find Muso Worship. Yeah. Muso Worship. That's that's Muso Church is her is her local church. Yes. Muso Worship is the group in the church and she leads songs there as well. She sings part of that. So um every time because uh, recently you guys released music. Yes. And when a song came up, I said Nang Yamas voice. <laughs> <voice le. laughs> so <laughs> Muso Worship. Which I know who <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the good things. And we will see you next time on Intimate Moments with.